James, good speaking with you again. We spoke literally right before the Oscars. And of course, you guys won. So well done. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about like the all the comic book stuff, but the um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and dive into let's dive into this Max series. So with, I mean, as a kid, Gremlins was everywhere. Like, how was it getting like this the getting this offer to join this project? Uh, they just called me and uh, told me that uh, you know um, they wanted me. I don't think I even auditioned uh, because like. <clears throat> You say grandpa and right away that fits me. So <laughs> I did it and I'm very glad. And uh, it, it was very fun in the sense that I got to work with all these wonderful actor and actresses. Um, uh, and it's uh, predominantly an Asian cast. So I was very happy with that. And the set, um, I saw the first episode. It was very, very good. And uh, all those little creatures are running around. A very exciting series. <laughs> I hope people will enjoy it. I think it is great, Sam. I, I really feel like we, I, I can remember a time when this representation was non-existent. And when when even in animated series, and you know, Mul Meng and I, we all did Mulan, we all worked on Mulan. Mulan was the first movie where we really owned some of the voice work that ha would normally have been given to other non-Asian actors. And so um, that was the beginning of a tide turning when it came to animation. And here we are with uh, Asian writers writing Asian characters and Asian actors playing them in a way that we didn't before. So you can't deny the progress of that. So that, that is one of my real positive takeaways from being asked to do this. It's like, wow, okay, I can remember when this wasn't exist in existence and now here it is. So I, 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 I have to be optimistic and hopeful about that. Well, in, in, uh, and I love that about it because what Z does, he instills so much of like Chinese folklore and yeah. just general culture um, yeah. that maybe didn't have the same amount of respect in 1984. Like, absolutely did not absolutely like, did not like what was it about the kind of like bringing this the wing family together that you that really appealed to you guys as actors the truth of it the fact that it when a person when a family an asian american family or a non-asian american family sees this family they recognize it as a real family and that it has those qualities in it and those relationships in it and we love that we we crave playing those human beings that have those relationships and and we can act as a as a mirror to the people who are watching at home because that's when you are influential culturally. You know, that's why we always felt invisible as Asian American actors struggling through this business because we're always given kind of table scraps of parts. Well, that's changed over the years and we get less of that now, but that's where this comes from. This is where this is where our enthusiasm comes from, being finally given a, a chance to kind of be human beings in the most three-dimensional way possible, even for an animated series. Not knowing that like something like Mulan you know, when you have a character that is really heroic or flash, fleshed out, uh, it it has a strong impact, you know, to yes. this. There's so many For people sure. that have had such an incredible positive impact. And I'm hoping that Sam and our characters will also, um, uh, you know, make that those positive changes. And, and, you know, and testament to like Steven Spielberg and um, Joe Dante, who were in the original project, that even though they took a story that was Chinese based and then kind of then switched the attention to where it was, you know, white suburbia and um, and then not really delve into much of who Mr. Wing was at all. He was just a side character. Um, one, kind of a prop, actually, you know, kind of a, a set yeah. piece. Yeah. Even though, you know, Key Luke like did his best to instill as much dignity and reverence to that character. Mm. Um, I just love that they see an opportunity to correct that situation by exploring his origin story. And, mm. uh, and it's well, uh, yes, that's very true. And in a respect, uh, I like playing grandpa, because it's uh, very true to life, you know, um, when you get to be my age, 94, uh, people don't listen to me anymore. They no. think I'm crazy. So I have to keep repeating the things that are necessary, that, that are essential in life. And that's what grandpa is doing in this um, uh, play. 
And uh, it, I'm glad to be part of the return of, of this series. Uh, it means a lot to me because, you know, uh, who knows? I may not get a, another chance to do this series again. Um, uh, so right now, it, it's a passion to do something as as creative as this. Uh, we were talking because you wanted to talk about the spreading of of uh, Chinese folklore through through comics, through the childhood stories your mother told you. And in a lot of ways, your character tells those stories through through Sam, his character's grandson in this. And I love mm -hmm. that the energy that that your character kind of brings that to that. But that's yeah, yeah I've, I've been in all, kind of all facets of comics. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure you're going to be successful in what whatever you do to see you in that field is very good. And I hope your audience will enjoy what we did for this uh, series. Um, I myself am going to create the James Hong comic book series. Can you believe that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm very I close to you, and uh, I hope all, all this gizmo stuff will really become alive all over the place. Oh, yeah. I want to be in the James Hong multiverse. I know. Well, yeah, I must really. be in the James Hong. I, um, I, I, I must be in it, James. No, yeah. the wonderful. James Hong multiverse. Yes. Everybody heard that. Now I'm going to hold him and make not. Yes. Him. Oh it my is a gosh. Matter of journalistic record now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sign me up. Sam, uh, 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 somehow email me through whatever resources you have. Okay, we'll get you, together and yeah. do yeah, all you, kinds of fun. I have your email, James. We, we, James we, we, is still like doing business here. He's like, <laughs> why not? Networking, <laughs> networking. <laughs> but so, Mingna BD, I was, I was. Um, like wondering because both of your characters are very protective of Sam. Like, how is it approaching that kind of parenting role from those with that sensibility in mind? You can't play a parent without you know your own parenting kind of influencing your every line reading. I think you know protective or or um, however you whatever your relationship to your kid is. So I think it's great. It's a valuable gift to be a parent and then to be an actor and to draw from it. I mean, it, it was so, such an easy role. I, m majority of the time, I'm playing the antithesis of who I am. You know, <laughs> like all in, these like, in other parts, uh, yeah. fearless characters, <laughs> and and it's just wonderful to be able to step in the shoes of Fong and be a mom. And uh, it, it's it comes so easily and naturally. It's something that I've done twenty four seven for the last twenty two years. And uh, um, it's it's great to be able to lend that experience uh, that I've had personally to a to a character. Yes, I well, I think uh, the people will love the the character of the little boy Sam. I I enjoyed it thoroughly. He, and I voiced by a funny. very talented person, and of course Gizmo is always up to some kind of uh, adventure. He sucks the people into his uh, life of all those uh, little funny creatures you know it's a it's i'm i i can't say enough for this series people will love it yeah he's got a gravitational pull all his own and yeah. that the audiences can check it out on max on may 23rd that is my time it is always good speaking with the defenders of the way dynasty reunited once again for <laughs> for gremlin's secret of the mogwai guys thanks for taking the time to speak to me today hey thanks sam thank you